Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, I thought today that um, I would come on here and do a video of me working on a new digital kit that I've been working on. You, If you watched my last video, you guys saw that I was working on some ephemeral labels and I thought it might be fun for you guys to see me working on making them. So I'm looking for, I downloaded a whole bunch of pictures from places like that have domain free um, ephemera, like the New York Public Library Library of Congress. Some of the things are things that I've sourced locally or off eBay and then scanned in. And I'm going to use these to make what I hope will be cool little labels and then make a digital kit out of them. I'm using a Corral Paint Shop Pro. This is my photo editing program and then I actually make I'm going to click on to another program that I use I actually uh, make the digital kit in Craft Artist 2 which I find to be a um, amazing program that does all the things I want it to do easily so as you can see I've started working on some of the little ephemeral labels. I haven't decided on size and everything like that. I'm just getting getting a bunch of them on this page. So I'm going to click back to Corral. Now I want to take different parts of this. This is probably a trade card from the 1800s and I really like the way that the lines are down through here. First I'm going to um, use my program to make sure that the picture is the best that it can be and I like to use up here it's called smart photo fix so I'm gonna do that once and I'm gonna look at it oh I gotta make sure my screen is as bright as it can be and I have this little program that helps with your eyes so I'm gonna turn it off for an hour it makes it the screen less bright when you're working on it but when I want to see the colors the actual colors so there is what it used to be and this is what it fixed it to and I think it actually looks a little better it looks the blue ribbon stu studio part here pops a little bit more so I'm going to keep that because I like the coloring and it didn't lose this really uh, distressed brown aged coloring on it so we're going to click OK so that just changed the picture and I can just with my mouse I can just scroll up and make it bigger or smaller just depending on the area that I want to use so I like this here and I like what this says English Shire and Cleveland Bay horses and I'm just trying to decide if there's anything else on this thing that I want to save I really like these dates right here so I'm going to copy this and paste it so we have another one to play with and we're not messing with the original so I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it as a new image so when we cut something out here we're not the originals over here and this is the copy so I'm going to get the crop thing and I'm going to size it down because labels are kind of long mostly I mean some of them I've got a kind of fat but I'm gonna size it down and let's look, look look and see what this looks like here um, you double click on the inside of the box that you made and it cuts it out and there is what would be a label a And see now we're going to copy it and then we're going to go back to that program where 
I'm building the digital kit and we're going to paste it in here. Came out really tiny. We're going to make it bigger just so we can see it. And see, I think it lost a little bit of its coolness in the copy paste. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut that and I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to save this, save this file, save as, go down here where the other one was, the original is right here. I'm just going to add an A to it so it'll save it right next to it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close that. That's the original one that we had. It's still sitting there. We're going to go back to our program and now this way we're going to insert it from where we saved it. I'm going to go look for it. It should be right down here next to the other one. Got to look around a little bit here. Which one was that? Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. We're going to open it and we're going to paste it this way. I think, let's see, yep, I think that looks just a little bit better. Now all these I have sized at about three and a quarter long and, oh, that one didn't say right. Well, they're all different sizes, um, thicknesses. So this one we're going to do at three and a quarter. So. We'll go down here and make it smaller. Okay, I don't want it that small. So I had some that were three and a half. You definitely don't want it any smaller than that. Or any, yeah, smaller. In fact, we might want it just a little bigger. But for right now, we'll just leave it like that. And I can play with the sizes later. And then I'm adding a border around the outside. So I'm going to go up here and add a border and I've been making it at five point in black. And there we have our new little vintage label that when I put these in my store, you'll be able to print this out and then cut out these labels and use them in your clusters and all kinds of, uh, stuff on your junk journals. So I'm going to go back here now. This was a decision. Did we want any more through here? Did we like the way? I'm just going to uh, try it and see. But just remember this is the original one so we don't want to lose it if we don't like another version of it. Some of these um, vintage trade cards and, and vintage ads they cannot, they're not straight. They don't have the text straight on it. It can be like sideways and all that. So this is a good card for um, finding something that looks good uh, for our artwork here. This is our show ring record in the State Fair and Great America Horse Show at Chicago, 1888, 1889, and 1890. You just want to make sure that it's not saying something weird and a lot of the t uh, fonts and stuff you want to make sure they look good. I am going to cut this one time and just look at it. I can get it back. I don't know. I, I just don't know if that's like the greatest thing in the world. So I think I'm just going to not do that. So I'm going to undo that. I undo it up here and then I'm just going to save this. I'm just going to close it and not save any changes. Is it save changes? No. We just want to keep it like the original one was. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at these, these really cool um, cards and advertisements and making little 
labels out of them. And some of them you can, and some of them isn't working too well. So let's see, what's this one? Let's open this one. Okay, first we're gonna so look at it. Now that one's kind of fat, but I wouldn't want to lose any of that really cool graphic on there. So we just have to keep it fat. But maybe if we cut it out here and we cut it out here, it'll not look quite so fat. But first let's adjust the picture with the smart photo. It made it just a little deeper distress look plus it made the writing on there darker so let's keep it we like that and I'm gonna copy and paste a new one so we're working on one and then I'm just gonna close this original one because there's nothing else on there to save so I'm just going to close the original one. Oh, we're going to save the little changes of making it deeper and making the colors better. So we'll save that. So here we're going to cut out, cut this out. It is going to be fatter than the other ones, but here, make it this smaller so we can see. We don't want that black edge in there. And we'll get this as close as we can and make it bigger again. Close as we can to the edge of those little medallions. Let's see what it looks like. And there's our tag. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Now I'm just going to save that next to that other one. And and I'll put it in there later. But if you guys like these kind of videos, just let me know and I'll do some more. Okay, so I'm saving that. But for right now, I'm going to close this out and see how the video worked and all that. Make sure my audio is good and that the picture turned out good. And um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm having fun looking at vintage ephemera. Take care. Now let me see if I can close this out right. Now it was, it was something shift.